I got here as soon as I got your letter. You say you got something for me, Mr. White? Yes, I heard some uh, rumblings recently of a lost treasure, lost some centuries ago. Just tell. I figure it will take more than just some rumors to bring you back into the business. This is it, Eli, the big one, the one we've been waiting for. The treasure of the Incas. Yes. There's been rumors of its existence since the 16th century. What makes you think these are real this time? Because an old friend is looking for it. Hmm. Straight Jacket Joe. You know it's serious when he is looking for it. It's risky. Well, they don't call me Gamble for nothing. Don't take this lightly, Eli. Hmm. If it were any other bounty, I'd let him have it. But this, the treasure of the Incas, I have to go after it. You'll need this. Hmm. I had some scouts digging. I'm pretty sure it's in this area here. If you know where it's at, why not get it yourself? Oh, no, no, no. I'm not cut off for that. Book life has made me soft. Right. Well, if I find it, you're going to get to get a cut. Be careful. I've done what you've asked. Indeed you have. You put the fear of God in him. <laughs> Your family gets to live. For now. No way. Oh. oh, this is it? After all this time. Oh, I'm rich. After this, no one will dare question Straight Jacket Joe ever again. I wouldn't celebrate just yet, Joe. Damn. You're just in time. Welcome to our fine showdown. I can't imagine what you did to poor Mr. White, that he will betray me. All I did was threaten to kill his family. But once I'm done with you, maybe I should go through with it. You won't get the chance, Joe. It's over for you, my man. Mm.